For the farm scene, I've made an early 20th century walk behind plow using the 1907 reproduction series catalog for a reference. First step is to cut some paper patterns to get the plowshare in proportion to the fence. And then using some 20 gauge sheet metal, forming that sheet metal by heating it up to a red hot so that I have that curve in there that is like a real plowshare. Using RG45 for the frame of the plow, here I'm forming the handles, heating the handle, using the needle nose, and gently forming the handle into a rounded shape. Again, using the Sears catalog so that I can get this shape exactly like the shape in the catalog, following that curve. And now to add the braces or supports. As you can see here, I have two plows. What happened was the first plow, the top one, was too small for the proportions of the barn. So I did another larger plow. This is a louvered cupola, which would have been found on more stately barns of that period. For the cupola, 20 gauge sheet metal. The sides are RG45. And making sure that the V shape at the bottom fits the peak of the roof. Using 332nd RG45 for the louvers. Embracing those to the RG45 on the side. Embracing on the copper cap. The grinding stone for sharpening tools. Quite realistic. Using heavy washers. Attaching a small fender washer to the center. Then brazing these together. The result is that the grinding stone looks like this. Using RG45 for the frame for the grinding wheel. And the additional parts, which includes the pedal the seat, and the V-shape. The wagon with the feed bags and milk cans. The bed of the wagon is strip steel, gas welded together. Brazing the wheels together, just as in the small sculptures that sell video. One difference, I'll be adding a wagon wheel hub to these wheels. These RG45 rods are for the axles and I'll attach those to the center of the wheels. This wagon is a spring wagon, meaning that it has a spring, somewhat like the spring on an automobile. Here I am attaching the spring to the axle. The spring attached to the axle. This is what I call adding interest, making the sculpture more interesting. Adding the seat and the poles that will attach to the horse's harness. Putting in some feed bags, some milk cans, some buckets. The final touch.